we're going to break down uh, three wide receivers. Ryan Thomas, 6'4", 205 pounds. Keon Coleman is it. Glad McConkie is turning a lot of heads at the Senior Bowl. Look at the release. There's your separation. Wait, wow. Stutter and go. Gets by clean. That is unbelievable. May be the greatest catch I've ever seen. Let's get a quick sampler on some of these dudes. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm really looking forward to Matt's breakdown of Roman Wilson, who apparently stole the show um, at the Senior Bowl out of Michigan. But let's start with this kid out of LSU, Brian Thomas, 6'4", 205 pounds. So he's a, a little bit of a little bit of a beanpole at 6'4", uh, but 205 pounds. But listen, tall, rangy dude. What did you see from Brian Thomas? Yeah, uh, as we said with the last time we did this, and if you missed it, go back a few episodes, you'll find the same sort of analysis. Three game samples on Marvin Harrison, Malik Neighbors, uh, and Roma Dunze. Uh, so, as I said then, this is only three game samples. A full mm -hmm. reception perception sample is eight. I'm not going to give you a lot of the data points here because I think it's kind of unfair. I did drop those in the Discord. You can go to the Discord to see those. Um, but regardless... Uh, this is a very early, you can't hold me accountable type of take, uh, here on these receivers. And I will say this just to start it off. I don't think these three guys that I've studied, uh, whether it's Coleman McConkey or, mm -hmm. or even Thomas, who I think is probably the highest regarded. Usually I see him fourth after the top three. Yeah. I think there's a clear drop between those top right. three and then down to, to Brian Thomas. So starting with Brian Thomas there, who have, is a really interesting player. I think he actually fits <laughs> on the Devontae Parker axis of X receiver here somewhere. <laughs> um, okay. I don't think he's, I don't think he's Devontae Parker necessarily, but he was used in a lot of X receiver ways lined up in the three game samples that in the three game sample that I charted on the line of scrimmage, 61.7%, 35% at, at right wide receiver, 48.9% at left wide receiver. So he was primarily an outside guy. I think he's solid. Uh, I think mm -hmm. he's a solid man coverage beater. I think he's a pretty good uh, press coverage beater. I got him right around a 73, 74% success rate versus press right now, which is good. The one thing that is worth noting, this guy's route tree is very, very stripped down. Uh, uh -huh. In terms of the three games that I charted right now, 21.3% of his routes were nine routes. 25% uh, were curl routes and 24.1% were slant routes. So in total, <laughs> yeah, I mean, in total, that three is, routes. okay. yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's about three routes, man. So in total, those three routes make up 70.4% of the routes that I charted so far. So um, that's definitely an area of growth and development. However, if we're talking about X receivers, if we're talking yeah. about George Pickens, we're talking about that, that is certainly where he's going to fit into that bucket of player. So it's interesting uh, when you list those three, when you talk about slant, curl, and, and goes, um, basically it's the short, intermediate, and, and, and deep downfield, right? So um, not a lot of variety, it sounds like, uh, in regards to his route tree. I haven't seen a ton of Brian Thomas. I didn't really get uh, the sense that this was a reliable downfield guy, despite the fact that he was 6'4". Yeah, I think there's some touch and go stuff in contested situations. You know, I've only seen three games, so that's like never something I'm gonna um, hammer the guy for. Like, yeah. oh yeah, he's bad in contested situations in three games. Super productive though. I think he led the nation in touchdowns with seventeen. Seventeen touchdowns, insane. Yeah, he, only they, only eleven hundred yards, but seventeen touchdowns. That's insane. I will say, like, actually, I found him more impressive after the catch than I than I thought I would. Um, okay. Like, I'm interested to see where he ends up testing and stuff like that because I think when you can get him on the move, uh, when you can get him on a slant, uh, he beats man coverage, he wins off the line quickly, he can make some plays in the open field. I think that that stood out to me a little bit. He only went down on first contact on 44% of the in-space in uh, attempts that I sampled in this three games. So, yeah, man, he's, he's a guy that is interesting in terms of that, like, T. Higgins' bucket of player. Keon Coleman, we talk about these hulking dudes. I mean, this guy's, <laughs> bro, this guy's so big. I'm like, is he a tight end? What's going on here? 6'6", 237 out of Florida State. Um, talk about hulking wide receivers. Keon Coleman is it. Yeah, he's huge. That being said, 
didn't line up a ton as the X receiver in Florida's offense, you know, and college offenses make it really weird, but 69.9% yeah. of his snaps were behind, like off the line of scrimmage, uh, 63.6% outside. So you saw him at X, you saw him at flanker a little bit. You even saw him uh, sometimes in the slot, 35.8% of the snaps I sampled uh, in the slot. Yeah. He, he's a, he's a tough evaluation, man, because it doesn't win it vertically enough for my tastes, uh, despite being that size. Um, he definitely makes some wow contested catches, but he's got some lapses there as well. I, I definitely have some some separation issues with, with Keon Coleman. Um, you know, if we were looking at the numbers where he's at right now, which I don't want to give out here just because, again, it's a three-game sample, it would right. be somewhere between that, like, 33rd-ish percentile. So not terrible, but I actually kind of think he would be a guy that would make more sense in, like, a big slot receiver role than, a, than an X receiver role. We go to Georgia, where Lad McConkey is turning a lot of heads at the Senior Bowl as well. I mean, everyone just keeps saying this guy is unguardable at the Senior Bowl, just wide open on every single route. Uh, this is a, you know, slightly undersized, well, I mean, undersized, six feet, 185 pounds. Um, obviously, it profiles as, you know, a route running slot guy. Uh, what did you see here with Lad McConkey? Oh, a, a slightly undersized uh, <laughs> route running white slot receiver tearing up the senior bowl practices. Like I look, I'm going to, I'm going to admit my biases right yeah. here. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll admit it. Like you guys, if you've listened to the podcast, know how I feel about like the, I'm not throwing this player under the bus, but like the Hunter Renfro corollary of receivers. It's like, Man, he runs that crispy little whip route, and everybody thinks he's like the best route runner in the NFL. Um, <laughs> like, okay, I do think Lad McConkey shows some real, um, a real ability. Now, I don't love the three game sample I got on him, uh, but it is a three game sample. It's just because I know he dealt with a lot of injuries this year, and mm. these were games coming off right away from injury. But man, I love the way he runs outbreaking routes, uh, particularly like out routes, flat routes, uh, routes working from even the X receiver or flanker receiver and when working a guy in man coverage or zone coverage, like I think he sells those vertical routes really well to snap back on out routes. That is the most impressive thing to me that I have seen so far um, in his film. In addition to doing the same sort of stuff, selling that vertical route and coming back on the curl route. You see a lot of that too, even just in the three games that I've looked at so far that almost to me, like, I, I don't know what position he ends up playing. Like, mm. I don't know if he's an outside receiver. I don't know if he's more of a slot guy. Like, I know, I think he said to good friend, uh, Ray Garvin at the senior bowl that he models his game after Cooper cup. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I think that like, I could see him being a Cooper cup type of player just because, and I'm talking, I, when I say Cooper cup, I'm not necessarily talking about like triple crown winner Cooper cup, but like when he was the early days of the McVay uh, offenses where he was working from the slot as, or as a flanker, almost like a big tight end at times uh-huh. and working those outbreaking routes. There was some, there's some of that I think in, in Lad McConkey's game. <laughs> 